the Trentino region of northern Italy and its capital, Trento. A spectacular backdrop for a true legend of motorsports history. The majestic Bentley 4.5-litre. To start up, first you have to press these two buttons to bring the ignition magnetos into the right position. Then you turn on the gasoline pump and use the levers to adjust the hand throttle and pre-ignition. The tension mounts as Christoph gets ready to roll. Oh dear. But Christoph gives it another go. Back in the roaring 20s, almost a century ago, this nimble two-ton giant was a favourite toy among playboys. Powered by a monster engine, it makes every second on the road an adventure and every curve a hair raiser. There's no replacement for displacement. Indeed, the words of none other than Walter Owen Bentley, known as W.O. The engineer and founder of the car company had little time for factors such as vehicle weight, air resistance or comfortable handling. If a car was too slow, the answer was a bigger engine. And in the case of Bentley, those power plants went up to 8 litres. The unit inside the Bentley 4.5 litre packed just the four cylinders, but a capacity of 4.4 litres. Its 110 horsepower could take the mean machine to a top speed of 150 kilometers per hour. By 1927 standards, an out of this world figure. Motorsports and luxury were perfectly compatible for Bentley, explains Christoph. That meant the battleships made in Cricklewood, London, had to do the business on the racetrack too. In the mid-twenties, Bentley's three-litre model had won the 24-hour of Le Mans twice, but was no longer cutting edge. The more modern but awfully heavy 6.5-litre model went through tyres quicker than you could change them. Bentley's solution? Cutting two cylinders out of the 6.5-litre. And a legend was born, the Bentley 4.5-litre. The Bentley 4.5-litre was made for Le Mans. The no-nonsense beefcake gritted its way around lap after lap. Wolf Bonato and Bernard Rubin took turns at the wheel, two of the famous club of wealthy motorists known as the Bentley Boys. After 24 hours and almost 2,700 kilometres at full throttle, the Bentley crossed the line in first, despite suffering a broken chassis, a triumph for the prestigious British mark. Like most other car makers in the 1920s, explains Christoph, Bentley didn't build its own bodies. Instead, they would deliver the chassis and engineering parts to coach makers. In Bentley's case, that was Van den Plas, likewise based in London, who added an ash frame with artificial leather. The buyer of this model opted for the sporty Open Tourer version, today the most coveted and expensive Bentley 4.5 litre. An original Bentley 4.5 litre will easily set you back a million euros plus today. It comes with fully adjustable friction dampers, headlights with stone guards and tiny windshields. The drum brakes on all four wheels are not that effective, while the small leather-clad seats offer little in the way of lateral support. The cord-wrapped steering wheel would look at home on an ocean liner bridge, and it takes some muscle to operate. Wow, the cast iron engine alone weighs about as much as a modern small car. Mr. Bentley started out as a locomotive designer, of course. Four cylinders, a 4.4 litre displacement, 110 horsepower. It all looks a bit old fashioned now, but this car was ahead of its time. Christoph recalls the 16V label turning up in the 1980s. Here we have four cylinders and four valves, equals 16V, 60 years before the likes of the Golf. 
This Bentley has four extra ignition plugs on board. It wasn't until the 1930s that high-performance cars no longer needed pre-ignition plugs. The Bentley 4.5 litres engine generates up to 4,000 RPM. But even at minimal revs, this awesome beast of yesteryear pumps out a monumental torque. Pioneering engineer Ettore Bugatti once called Bentleys the world's fastest trucks. This four and a half litre cannot hide its weight of almost two tonnes, so it takes a tremendous effort to push it around bends. The braking distances are never ending, and the unsynchronised full speed transmission is a physical challenge all the way to your fingertips. A couple of hours in a Bentley is a real workout. Another of those race-mad Bentley boys had a supercharged edition of the 4.5 litre built called the Blower. But as predicted by the boss of Bentley, it could never match the original in terms of dependability. A pre-war Bentley looks like a relic from a bygone era when brute force ruled. A dinosaur in the evolution of sports cars. But nonetheless, this British bulldog had some pretty sophisticated engineering. The Bentley 4.5 litre is indisputably a milestone in automotive history. Unfortunately, the Bentley 4.5 litre has always been an all too rare sight. Production between 1927 and 31 totaled 50 blower models and just 668 regular editions of this iconic beast.